Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is gonna be a little longer one for me to film. Probably the longest one I've ever put together for a few reasons. First one is because I, for the first time ever, I'm going to drive for dollars. Now, if you guys don't know what that means, driving for dollars, driving for dollars simply means you're driving around a certain area or market that you're interested in investing in. So I'm driving about 15 minutes north because where I live is just too small of town to really do this in. And honestly, I know almost every single one of my neighbors and I know they're not willing to sell. <laughs> so I gotta go somewhere that's a little bit more populated area. So I can drive about 15, 20 minutes north I have a few couple neighborhoods, subdivisions pick out that I wanna drive in. I can find distre distressed properties, properties with you know plywood on the windows covered up, properties with really tall overgrown grass that doesn't look like anyone lives there. And then I can go through the process, getting the address, and then there's a service, which we'll talk about later in the video, that I can actually get the phone number of the owner of that address. I'll do some cold calling later in this video as well, so we'll see how that goes. and. God, it's been a long time since I've made any cold calls, but I will say this. I feel pretty comfortable in the cold calling selection for me because of all the shit I've had to deal with in construction and making random calls to pissed off customers and to pissed off contractors. So I feel pretty strong in that aspect, I would say. And then also I did some cold calling for an investment fund. So we'll see how it all goes. So let's head north. Let's look for some properties. I also got to drop off a little paper here from uh, when I did a closing forgot to sign a paper or they forgot to give me a paper to sign so we'll see how it goes and again first time ever doing this so i'm this may be a complete disaster <laughs> let's see how this goes ladies and gentlemen can i please have your attention i've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story and i need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen Okay, now I'm at UPS. I'm gonna return this little package here for a uh, the closing, a paper I didn't sign. So let's hop in here real quick, do this, and let's go drive for some dollars, baby. Boom, that is done. Now I guess I can say I'm officially closed on the second rental property. Gonna make a quick post here on the gram. Gotta document everything on the gram. Let's go, baby. So you guys aren't gonna believe this. I uh, literally pulled into the first street, the first neighborhood I kind of had planned to drive by, and I found a distressed property. So we're gonna go take a look at it. Um, like the doors and stuff are boarded up. So it's definitely not the, you know, best looking property, obviously, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm walking down the road now because there wasn't really anywhere to park. And I'm gonna see, get this address, and we'll see where this goes. It's the first, first address on the list so we'll see what happens all right so I found my first property um, I'm not gonna go on the property yet uh, it doesn't look like anybody's living there the doors boarded up but I would love to see neighbors out to like strike up a conversation with them and just see if they know anything about the property and see if I can get some information so I'm gonna write this address down on my phone and uh, Maybe make a call on it later, we'll see. All right, so that was that property. Um, as I'm driving around here, I'm thinking, I'm like, geez, I might need a haircut. That's what I'm thinking too, but <laughs> um, as I'm driving around here, I'm like, okay, if I get one of these properties and let's say I land one, which I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but if it would, that'd be sweet. I may flip it, I may try to wholesale it. So after I see how many properties I find and get a list for, uh, my goal would be 10, uh, 10 properties. It seems quite a bit a lot, because I don't know how, I'm gonna, how long I'm gonna drive around for, maybe 30 minutes to an hour. And if I can find 10 properties, then I will probably reach out to a property manager in the area and see if they have any investors that I could use to send a mass text or email or something to can i go down this way no i can't crap i'm already lost and to see if i can say hey found this property you know if i could pick it up for 10 grand or whatever or 15 grand and then turn around and try and sell it to them for uh you know 20 25 make a quick 10k on that just for driving around and talking to you guys i mean geez 
That's not too bad. Where in the hell am I going? All right, so I found the second one. To be honest, this really isn't that bad a property, but like, it's just a little eh. I mean, it's really not that bad, but on the sides and stuff, like stuff's grown up. Uh, you can tell like the windows are all jacked up and stuff. So I wrote down the address. I'm gonna give the owner a call. I don't know if this is a rental property or whatnot, but right next to it, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, that property right there looks like it was just flipped. Uh, so I'm gonna do some research right here. And I would love to know what that property went for and then can see if I can turn around buy this and have that be a comp if I would happen to flip this or sell this to an investor. So we'll see how that goes. Just found property number three and it literally has, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, this little white sign right here. Notice to cut weeds from the city. So you can bet your sweet, you know what? I just wrote this property address down to. Uh, there's weeds growing all up around the house and whatnot. It's definitely not pretty, but looks like money. Okay, so I just saw this sign. Uh, it's a We Buy Houses sign. I figured I'm gonna give them a quick call because they're in the area that I'm driving for dollars. And I'm going to see if I find something that they would be interested in being on an investor's list. So let's see how this phone call goes. This is John. Hey, you said John? Yes. Hey, John, my name's JJ. How you doing? Good. Hey, I just saw your sign here in uh, Festus, or we buy houses. Yeah. Um, I'm actually an investor in the area as well, and I have a small, newly formed investors list. I was wondering if that's something you guys would be interested in being on. Um, I have a couple properties in the area that I'm currently working on trying to get under contract and was seeing if you guys would be interested in something like that. Absolutely. Tell me more about you, man. We've got a bunch of houses I've never come across you before in Festus. Um, I'm, I'm relatively new, to be honest. Uh, I'm My name's JJ. I'm an investor. I have a couple properties in Kansas City. Uh, my wife and I used to live out there and bought a couple rental properties. And yeah, man, just trying to kind of make a name for myself i guess here in the markets in festus and jefferson city and down south where i'm at perryville um since i live here now you know so uh, also trying to make some connections as well yeah i mean you're more welcome to put me on we're in that buyers we, we never very rarely do we ever sell uh, and we are only looking to purchase okay um you got properties you want to sell now in festus uh no not 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 yet um to be honest man i'm actually uh driving for dollars right now so okay. i got a i got a quite a bit of big list um and gonna make some calls uh hopefully later this week and see if i can land something um so we'll uh we'll see but it, 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 might, it might all be ours man. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they are, then uh, I guess I'll talk to you again. Yeah, man, like I said, I'm just trying to, I mean, learn these markets a little bit. Kansas City's, you know, the market that I know, so I'm trying to make connections and meet people who I can, shake hands and do whatever down here, so. Sure. Awesome. Cool, man. Well, I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I give you a call. Again, my name's JJ. Your name was John? Correct. Okay. Cool, John. I may save you on my phone then, man, and uh, I appreciate uh, the phone call. Sounds good, man. I appreciate the info big time. Take care, man. All right, you too. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that uh, there's an investor on the list. Never helps to uh, cold call and see what happens. Crap, did I just delete that? No, there we go. So, yeah, that was awesome. Um, now I got an investor who said he's willing to purchase. Um, so if I can find one of these properties that wasn't his that he mentioned then we'll see if we can turn this around for a quick uh, wholesale deal, which he said he's open to. Let's go, baby. Okay, so I got exactly 20 properties that now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna pay for that service to get the contact information for the owners of that property. I'm gonna grab some Jimmy John's for the family and uh, We'll see how these uh, calls go. So stay tuned. Two days later. Okay, so now I'm back home. I have about a list of 20 addresses and I am going to start making some cold calls. So you guys may be wondering how am I finding the numbers to these owners of these properties? 
I am actually using a service or a software called PropStream and I just started using it. I still actually have the free trial, but I'm going to say this. Holy crap, this is amazing. I never knew there was anything out there like this. I can literally search the address that I've per that I found from driving for dollars and it gives me um, some kind of owner information. I was able to find some of these numbers myself just by doing a little digging online. So I didn't have to pay for a skip trace, but you can also pay for skip tracing to get a large number of phone calls based on the addresses that you find. So that's what I use. If you guys are interested in using and get a free trial and prop stream, I'll have a link down below in the description where you guys can check that out. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm amazed at what I can do with this already. It's pretty awesome to have all this information and not even have to be like a registered real estate agent. Pretty crazy. So this house is owned by Habitat for Humanity. Let's see how this goes. Good morning, Habitat for Humanity. Hey, how's it going? Uh, my name's JJ. I'm actually a local investor in the area, and I was calling about a property you guys own on 516 Ann Street. 501 what? 516 Ann Street in Festus. Uh -huh. And is there someone I could talk to about, or if you guys would be potentially willing to uh, sell that property or cash buyers uh, in the area? Um, he's not here, but I can get some information from you and, and, and call him and let him give you a call. Okay, that'd be perfect. So, uh, let me, can you hold on for one second? Yep, for sure. All right, honey, thank you very much. Thank you. Do you think I'll hear from him today or some other time? Uh, I don't know if we see him. We'll give him a message. He may not, you know, he'll come in every day. Okay, I appreciate it. All right, well, that's a, that's a lead. Um, I got on the phone with somebody, spoke to someone. It was for Habitat for Humanity. So, uh, let's move on to the next one and see how these go. Okay, so I just looked at another um, property. This was actually the one that you guys saw when I was walking down the street that I found in like three minutes of driving. So looking at PropStream, I saw that it was owned by a trust. And I so far, I'm having good luck finding numbers myself without having to pay for the service of being able to just like look up the business name, the LLC or wherever, and I do a little bit more digging. I gotta do some real stalkerish type things, but I find some numbers and I'm able to get these phone numbers. So I'm able to like match the address of like the company with the homeowner of somewhere or some business name or whatever. So I found this guy, he's based out of Arizona. I'm gonna give him a call and see if he's possibly willing to sell me his property. And this one's gonna be tricky too, cause I don't even know if I got the right guy or not. So you may not have any idea what the hell I'm talking about. Good morning, Dick Studios. Yes, hi, I was wondering if I could speak to Gary. Gary. Dixon. Mm, he's not with the company any longer. He's not, do you know? Uh, yeah, I was wanting to talk to him about a, a potential property I think he owns near me and I was wondering, do you have a, another contact or form of information or form of contact information I could get to him or get a hold of him by? I can take a message and try and get a hold of him. Do you want to give me your info? Yeah, for sure. So my name's JJ and um, I was calling about a property that he owns on. I'll get a message to him and have him reach out to him. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, JJ. Yep. Bye. Okay. Um, so that was cool. So he no longer is with that company, but apparently she knew the guy and it sounds like she's heard this call before. So we'll see if he gets back to us. Okay. Um, I guess you're waiting for it to go through probate or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, well, I'm sorry to bother you. I was just, I'm a, I'm a local investor looking to purchase properties and okay. was saw it and I just was going to give you a, see if you had an opportunity, if you guys were wanting to sell it possibly or no, or, um, we're cash buyers. We close relatively quickly, and uh, just thought I'd reach out. Okay. Well, I mean, right now we're still in a waiting game, so. Okay. Nope. That makes All sense. Right. I appreciate okay. it. if you uh, if you happen to want to just try and sell it, um, and once it goes through that probate and everything, I don't know if you want to take my information down or not. All right. Yeah. I'll let you know once we if we hear anything. Sounds great. And what was your name again? Okay. I'm sorry. Katrina. Katrina. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that was an interesting one. I forgot to click record and I clicked it mid midway. So let me tell you a quick background of this one. So I found the property. Um, I found the owner, looked up the owner. Unfortunately, the owner did pass away. I almost didn't even make the call, but I saw that the owner had a son there. Searched the son by his name, found the son's phone number, called the son and, and talked to the, uh, his, the son's wife. And they said they're waiting for the home to go through probate. probate. So then... I would, uh, I told him once it goes through that, you know, if you guys are interested in wanting to get rid of it, 
then uh, you know, give me a call. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so just to do a quick wrap up of this video, as you can see, I'm literally editing it right now. Um, I didn't get to film everything else that I wanted to, but first, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know because I'm not done driving for dollars. I'm not done doing cold calls. I'm not done doing mailers. I'm still gonna be working to try and find deals. But a quick wrap up from the video. So I actually did go out and when I the guy I reached out to who was from Arizona who had the first house, house we found in this video with the boarded up windows and doors, I actually went out to look at that property and by God, it's one of the worst properties I've ever walked through. There was a bunch of cat piss upstairs and it smelled, I literally was like gagging as I was walking through the house. I had to bring my, my own drill. They let me walk into it by myself. I undid the doors. But here's the even crazier part. So the guy that I called earlier in the video with the We, we Buy Homes, uh, sign I reached out or he reached back out to me later that night text me he's like hey JJ appreciate your call would love to actually meet up with you and I met up with him the next day this was all last week or later earlier this week I met up with him at his local business in the area that I was looking uh, driving around he owns other businesses throughout the area and he said hey man I was really inspired by you calling me he goes I've had these signs out in Festus and around the city for about five years now and you were the first person to ever call me that was another fellow investor looking to network he goes everyone else that's always called me on those phone on that phone number is only people who are looking to sell their home so I knew when you reached out I had to meet you and him and I talked for literally about an hour and a half I met him and like I said at his place of business we told each other our stories where we're at he's a much larger investor much farther ahead than I am but I told them what I do, you know, what I'm looking to get into and my kind of goals with real estate and whatnot. And he seemed impressed. He's a super nice guy. Uh, I told him about, you know, the YouTube channel and everything. So John, if you're watching the video, what's up, dude? <laughs> um, I appreciate, you know, you're reaching out, but no, it's uh, it was really cool. So him and I actually went to look at that house together that I talked about. I had to, you know, pull the boards off him and I walked up there and, and honestly, it was a complete teardown. There was a disaster in there. So we pass on that one, but I have a, other, some other deals in the pipeline that I'm going to have to reach back out to, you know, left voicemails and whatnot. So I will be uh, doing some more cold calls and, and I am filling out pipelines through my Excel sheet that I created as I'm making these notes and talking to these people just so I don't forget their names you know, what we talked about and things of that nature. So I got some other addresses that I found. Um, like I said, if you guys enjoy these videos, let me know. I will be more than happy to keep filming these types of videos to let you know how this process goes. And me and John seem like we are want to work together in the future as well. So if I can bring John some deals, him and I may work on some deals together. Who knows? It's just the moral of this video, guys, is one, don't be afraid to take a chance. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone because you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who's going to pick up that other side of the phone call. And you never know what could happen of this outcome of just stepping out of your comfort zone just a little bit. So again, I'm going to wrap it up here. That's the end of this video. If you guys did like this video, you guys got some value out of it. First, make sure you hit that like button. And let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff. It was fun making it. I had a blast. Um, so let me know if you guys are interested. Guys, thanks so much for watching. And until next video, you all take care.